Kitty Zizza. That will be the delivery man. Come in. These are the toys just here. Olivia, uh, uh, are you sure about this? I mean, getting rid of your toys? Are you sure you won't miss them or anything? I'm not giving them away, Esme. I'm just giving them a new home. Okay, that's everything. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hang on. E Esme, where's Mr. Snuggles? I don't know. Esme, you're not hiding him, are you? No, seriously. Then where is he? <gasps> he must have been taken to the toy store. Don't panic, Olivia. I know just what to do. Okay, Esme, I'm tracking the collection van as we speak. It looks like it's heading towards the toy store in Central Zoosville. Understood. Meet you there? Affirmative. Liliana, over and out. Olivia, I'll have Mr. Snuggles back in no time. Agent Liliana, are you ready for mission to save Snuggles? I am, Agent Esme. Have you brought provisions? I certainly have. There's a lot of hardware in here. All serious spy equipment. What did you bring? What do we need snacks for? What don't we need snacks for? Come on, let's get inside. The toy store's closed for the night. <gasps> okay, let's split off. Good idea. Of boxes and found nothing. How did you get on? Well, I looked in a box, but I couldn't find anything. So I thought it was probably time to have a break. So you looked in one box? Yeah. Oh, Esme? Come on, Liliana. The toy store's closed. We've got all night. Let's make the most of it. Nah, fight. Fine. Then we need to keep searching. Of course, but for now. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Now we should probably get going. Hello? <gasps> Hello? Hide! Hello? Is anybody there? The store's closed. Hello? Oh, look at all these Nerf bullets. Olivia, I found Mr. Snuggles, but I lost Liliana. Amazing! But... Where's Lil? She's still in the toy store. I'm sure she'll find her own way out. Be back soon! <gasps> Liliana, what are you 
you doing in there? How long have you got? Can't I sleep? Maybe a walk in the woods would do it. A bit of fresh air. I do before I go to bed. Give me that. Hmm. Ah, I know what the problem is. <gasps> oh yeah? Yes. You're doing it wrong. Really? But it normally... Completely wrong. Come on, I'll show you how to do it properly. Right, let's take a look at this nonsense. One, drink a herbal tea. That's silly. Really? Yes, don't drink a herbal tea. Drink a coffee instead. Coffee? Yeah, coffee. Hmm, okay. <gasps> I think that's made me feel more awake. Well, we're not done yet. Uh. Listen to gentle music. Pa, no wonder you couldn't sleep. Really? What's wrong with that? <gasps> Everyone knows you need to listen to heavy metal before you go to sleep. Mr. Snuggles. 
him. Ha! Good luck, Isabella! <gasps> Mr. Snuggles! <sighs> but what about these poor teddies? All alone in the forest? Unless... <gasps> Isabella! Sounds like Manus has met her new friends, Mr. Snuggles. Hee hee hee. Attention, princesses. I am going to turn all your candy into broccoli. Why do you want to do that, Manus? Because... I don't know, I'm just bored, I guess. Engage the giant broccoli cannon! Enjoy your candy while you can, princesses. Time is ticking until it's all gone. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I can't imagine a world without candy. Pull yourselves together, princesses. We have to think fast. Hmm. Aha, I got it. We can use the spell book to destroy the cannon. Great idea. But which spell? There's only one way to find out. Gina's Piggot! Maybe not. Aha! Circus Pocket! Aha! Mommy and Tony! Your turn, Liliana! Aha! Oculus Schmoculus! Here you are, your turn. Manus, 
chocolate eggs and gummy goo make for his hair turn blue. Oh, my hair's turned blue! I'm supposed to be getting my photo taken tomorrow. Oh no, he must have the blue sprayer. Hee 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 hee. Freya, your picture's gonna be a blooper. <laughs> you should play a prank on them. Ah, here we go. Witches warts and smelly socks make as may have the chicken pox. <gasps> oh no, what's going on? People don't want to know they're getting an evil haircut. Fine, the name can change. How about hair scan? Definitely not. Hair free and carefree? That's just terrible. Oh, fine. Is that any better? I suppose. Great, so the customers should be pouring in any minute. Well, the real problem, Malice, is you're just terrible at hairdressing. <gasps> I only give the finest haircuts. What about that time when Isabella came in here asking for a little bit off the bottom? Just a little bit off the bottom, please, Malice. And you gave her red, short, spiky hair. Ah! A bit of an overreaction, I think. She's still wearing a hat to mask it now. Well, that's just one time. No, it's not. Remember when Liliana came in here before the party? I'm going to a party tonight, Malice. Maybe something fun and funky. Maybe a few curls, nothing drastic. She wanted 
something for a party. You gave her clown hair. Clowns perform at parties. She wasn't the clown malice. It was very embarrassing for her when people asked her to juggle. <laughs> She should have been more clear. Anyway, that was only two times. What about the time you gave Esme a bald head? She liked it. Hmm, interesting. Not what I had in mind, but less time in the shower. Thanks, Malice. Well, yes, but that's Esme for you. Anyone else would be pretty angry. <sighs> I'll never make it as an evil hairdresser. I'll tell you what, Malice. If you give me a good haircut with no funny business, I'll tell everyone in Kitty Zuzaland that you're a good hairdresser. Really? You'd do that? I would. Take a seat. Just a little off the ends, Malice. I mean that. Sure thing. This is what I was talking about. Ugh, sorry Freya, I just can't help myself. Surprise me. What a great job. I'm going to tell all my friends how great you've been. Gee, thanks, Freya. Oh, one more thing, Freya. Try this shampoo. It will make your hair nice and strong. Thanks, Malice. See you soon. Hmm, Malice did a good job. I should try this shampoo. Hmm, my hair certainly Feels like it's growing. <gasps> What's happened to me? That shampoo that Malice gave me must have been a prank. Oh. Malice, look what you did. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to give you a nice haircut, did you? This is an evil hair salon. Oh. I'll get you for this, Malice. <laughs> <laughs> 